Beyond the smiles and hugs, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau admits he's been running a government in contrast to his image. You know, we were perhaps uh, behaving in a way that was resembling uh, more the previous government than the kind of approach and tone that we promised throughout the electoral campaign. The Liberals have caved in the face of harsh criticism over their divisive plan to overhaul how Canadians will vote in the next election. The government has agreed with us today that no one party should have the power to unilaterally push through changes to our voting system. So under opposition is... pressure, today the government agreed to establish a new committee on electoral reform with an opposition-led majority. Just five Liberals, but three Conservatives, two New Democrats and one each from the Green Party and Bloc have the potential to influence change. My first priority has never been uh, who has the majority on this committee. My priority has been to establish the committee, to get it going and to move the conversation, frankly, from that on process to the substance of the electoral reform. But Conservatives say it's a smokescreen saying proportional voting or a ranked ballot system tends to benefit Liberals or New Democrats whose support is spread across the country, while Conservatives have more concentrated pockets of strength. Their seat count could be reduced under a different voting system. So they're demanding a nationwide referendum before moving ahead on change. No matter who the committee talks to and no matter what report they write, at the end of the day, it's up to Canadians to say yes or no. Now, whether the Liberal majority will adopt any of the recommendations is another story. Either way, the clock is ticking. The government's self-imposed deadline pledges to come up with a new plan within 18 months, and Elections Canada then has to scramble to usher in the new system by 2019. Lisa. All right, Richard Madden in the Ottawa Bureau. Thanks, Richard.